Hi guys, new video, and it's again a teardown. We're in a teardown modus again. This is an animal modus, the teardown modus. Anyway, full reverse engineering this time too. A uh, couple of videos ago, I reviewed, or uh, let's say so, I teardowned, I make a teardown of a Vevor ultrasonic cleaner that uh, has or six 40 kilohertz transducers and uh, ultrasonic power, a combined ultrasonic power of uh, 360 watts. These 360 watts, the six transducers are connected to each on one of these boards. The, trans the uh, ultrasonic cleaner has two of these exact boards that look exactly the same. One moment, let's focus again because I'm losing my focus all the time. And a third one that has all this circuitry, what you see here. And additionally, the 5 volt logic supply for the micro for the controller itself and a few relays. That's it. It is quite nice made, to be honest. There is no nothing to say. It is and quite it is an easy and not easy. It is a rather simple circuit and on the other side it's not that simple yeah you will see what i mean the whole the whole design relies on its magnetics these two and this one these three magnetics and i will show you how they are connected and what they do on the schematics otherwise you have two switching transistors the high voltage medium power switching transistors and the input AC filter that consists of a common mode chock, two X2 capacitors, between live and neutral, a Y1 ceramic, that, but it's not working like a Y1 because otherwise it would go directly to the ground. But this is not done here, to, to, the, to the protective earth, yeah, but this is not done. Not done. And... Uh, Resistor here that is used to discharge these two capacitors when when disconnected. Otherwise, you have the rectification. It's not a full it's a full rectification, but no smoothing. They are using the 100 hertz, the upper uh, uh, the upper positive sine, the upper part of the uh, the positive part of the sine wave. So I have it now, the 100 hertz. Here is the uh, slow blow 3 amp fuse. I would prefer that this one wouldn't be soldered, but just with a socket, but okay, it is how it is. And that's it. The rest is just magnetics. So let me show you the schematic. Let's start with the schematic from, here, from left to right. 3 amps, 3 amps slow blow, ceramic capacitor, the X2 capacitors, resistor, and the common mode chalk, as I showed you on the PCB board. The rectification, here you will have, if this is the zero line, you will have it like that. 100 hertz, the positive half of the sine wave. This positive half of the sine wave is divided in exactly the half, from these two capacitors. And exactly in the midpoint of these two capacitors, you have the transformer that goes to the midpoint of a similar, like a totem pole transistor pair. So this thing looks exactly like a half bridge. This is what a half bridge would look like if you, a high voltage half bridge. The only difference is that this half bridge has no controller chip or anything behind it to switch these two transistors. It's self oscillating. And here you have these three inductors here are in reality one transformer, a trifiller transformer. That means it has three, it has three windings and it is connected to the output. 
to the output of the transducer itself of the oscillator of the power oscillator and feeds back to the basis of the two transistors. So you have a self-oscillating half bridge. This is what I, the name I give it here. It is simple, but not simple because it relies completely on the transformers here, what I showed you. Well, this is not a transformer. This thing, when I took it out, the PCB, I thought, yeah, the big one will be the power transformer, but no, 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 no. This is the power transformer, the yellow one, with the yellow tape here, this one. And the one with the red tape is just a um, coil, a chalk. This thing. In my opinion, how it works, the output, this in combination with a, a capacitor that is not populated at the moment is first of all for impedance matching the transducers and secondly or most important L2 and the transducer forms a serial resonance circuit that amplifies even more the output sine wave. So you have quite a high voltage, a few hundred volts plus and minus on, on, on on this transducer. Yeah, otherwise these two C9 and C10 capacitors are not populated. Here we would have C10, okay, the electrons will fall out, Dave Jones would say, C10, and we have C9 here. And interestingly, sorry, again out of focus, interestingly, you have a C1, CY1, but look at this thing. There's no track on the other side. So this is, <laughs> I don't know why did they, they use it for nothing. You see, you have a track on the, on the top side, but not on the bottom side. There's nothing, just a hole. Yeah, this PCB is of course, for more than one product. It's quite a universal design, as it seems. But I never saw this exact driver as a teardown. This thing is cold. Let, let's see, it's wobbling and doubling and ooey. It is cold. CGKG underscore C a J X D Y B version two no what a name for a PCB anyway whatever that means. So let me show you how the output would look to the transducer. So this is how it looks. It's just a simulation that is quite exact the same circuit what I showed you on the, on the on the reverse engineering and this is how the output looks we have 600 volts peak to peak uh, sorry 1200 volts peak to peak this is what I mean it's, it's quite powerful the whole thing yeah so yeah I wouldn't suggest to put your fingers in there anyway this is all what I wanted to show you today. It's quite a short video. Wow, I'm not even used anymore of these short videos. Guys, if you like what you see, if you like my videos, if you like my content, just give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. Wing wing. Push the, uh, the notification button that will uh, that will inform you when I have new videos. All this will help me and my channel to grow so I can show you more interesting stuff, hopefully like that, yeah? And I have a lot of more. I told that many times, you will see. So thank you very much for watching. Stay safe, guys. And see you next time. Cheers, bye.